We're finding out tonight that Willie Cager, a starter on the legendary 1966 Texas Western basket, ba basketball team, has died this morning. D good evening, I'm Carla Draxler, and thank you so much for joining us. Cager died on the 57th anniversary of the NCAA championship title when Texas Western's historical team of an all-black starting lineup won over University of Kentucky. And this story even making its way to the big screen in the film Glory Road, where Cager took part as well. Our KTSM sports anchor Sam Guzman joins us live. And Sam, this is some really sad news for El Paso. Cager was still very much involved with youth basketball to this day. Yeah, you're right, Carla. I mean, he became a staple in this community. You would see him at UTEP basketball games and even at Parkland High School basketball uh, games. So obviously a lot of people heartbroken today. And just Cager, he was one of the most important pieces of that 1966 Texas Western team that not only won a national championship, but broke down racial barriers at the same exact time. Even after his playing days, Cager became a fixture in El Paso, as I said before. So the death of Cager is one that has hurt many, including two of his best friends that we had the chance to catch up with and two of his former Texas Western team members, Neville Shedd and Willie Worsley. In the 1960s, the trio grew up in the Bronx and they decided to head west for El Paso and they made the great decision played under head coach Don Haskins, played for Texas Western, and then they would go on to make history and become the 1966 national champs. And along the way, of course, there's the basketball part of it, but they also had the memories off the court that um, they made with Cager. And along with knowing they've made history, they also know that Cager's legacy will also live on. You know, with Willie being, you know, so, so very close to me, you know, it was a shock. and. You know, looking down the glory road of the great athletes that are uh, now in heaven, you know, and him joining them, it's just, it's, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. As we mentioned earlier, Cager was 81 years old. His family uh, gave us the news that he did pass away, pass away this morning. So obviously a big uh, loss to not only the community here in the Sun City, but um, as you, you can see from Shed's words right there, uh, just all around the basketball community. So it is a tough day for uh, minor fans, basketball basketball fans, and uh, many of us here. So uh, we'll have more in sports, but uh, for now, I'll send things back to you, in the, Carla.